what's up? I am Stephanie Cuatro, and this is my 24 hour stream recap. What's up everyone? Cuatro gang, new people, aliens, welcome to my 24 hour stream recap. I've stayed awake for 24 hours, entertaining chat, being fun, and awake. So I've seen before that streamers do this. It's not a new thing on Twitch, but I've never done it before. I've been live for 12 days before, with sleeping. But I've never been alive for 24 hours straight without sleep. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. But someone that knows everything learns nothing. I was first gonna do it on Tuesday. We already started off bad. I postponed the date already of this 24 hour stream. <laughs> but yeah, it was gonna be on Tuesday. And then I was like, bruh, that Friday that was coming up was gonna be King's Night. <laughs> And then that Saturday after that, King's Day. So I was like, two flies with one cat. I came up with cool challenges, make the poster. Now it was getting real. I had to think about the stuff I needed for these challenges. I had some challenges where I needed items. I got my ass to the Hema, to the action. Shout out Annabelle for going with me. Shout out Annabelle for making this video, editing this video. The day arrived, I slept late so I could wake up late. I woke up late that day at like 1 p.m. Prepared the last things for the stream. The stream would start at 4 p.m. Pronto, and I did. And then on 4.20 p.m. this timer would start. Oh, I didn't know it was waiting for me. Welcome in, bitches! These special 24 hours, Stephanie Cuatro Kings, not in a stream! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was so loud. Confetti, done. Bro, that confetti gave a mess in my house. Bro, don't give me a gun, because I didn't even think about which direction I had to shoot it. I just, I just went. First thing I do when I arrive in the city is forget to lock my bike. Let King's Night stop. Wait, did I already? I didn't even put, I didn't even close my bike. Let it not start yet, wait. And I was not even being delusional yet. Because I knew I had 24 hours of stream, I didn't feel rushed because I had 24 hours coming up. Obviously people understand that I'm not gonna be 100%, 100, 100, 100 fun, fun entertainment all the time. So I felt relaxed and I think it made me a little bit more loose and that's good. I would say the street art was the best challenge of all of them. It's so stupid, you know why? Because I was all insecure, like, is the street chalk fun enough? I don't know, I think this is the lamest one of all of them. It turned out to be the best of all of them. The most fun, like, video-wise, and I was getting five gifted on five gifted on five gifted. You see, the moment you don't give them attention, they go wild for you. Tell me in the comments why y'all like to be neglected. Think out of the box. The drawing the dick is in the box, okay? You gotta think out of the box. city I realized damn I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time here I better make sure I go to some different places like variation but not too fast because I don't know what they told you Amsterdam is small I think we're gonna sit here for a bit hello I'm back we're live how are you doing good, 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 good. we are here for King's Night, yeah, for King's Night. Oh, I was definitely not gonna not smoke. But drinking? I had my doubts about that one. If you're high and you keep on moving, you keep on moving. If you're drunk, you 
will crash. Apple juice for the win. And look at Daniel just brought me. Not sponsored, not sponsored. But drink your apple juice though. I'm not gonna show the brand. I just love when the city is full and that you just walk around the corner. Boom, party. Dance with some people. Come get your dad, bro. <laughs> well, let's see what's happening out here. Dancing really gave me some energy, man, and the people around me, fuck yeah. This was definitely the highlight of the night, man, like, wow. We got this free pizza and shit. Verona, please, I want you to take, like, our, like, the restaurant, please. What? I'm getting free pizza, you mean? You have to. You're welcome anytime. If you want a free pizza, I give it to you, please. How many followers do you have? I have 10k followers. Oh, my God, I need you now. We wait for you. We love you all. We love guys. Have fast, like damn. I appreciate. We love you all. We are waiting for you here. Please come, come, come. We have limoncello. Hey. We have beers. We have drinks. We have food. Everyone Everything. is welcome. Huh? Everyone. And your arsenal is style. It's quality. It's design. It's effective. Clean. Fresh. So get yourself some. Check it out on the website, the best for 20 class. I'm gonna get dab in before this video, okay? The third. Oh, oh, but you're with friends? Oh, you wanna smoke up with more? Oh, don't worry about it. I got one for everyone. MJArsenal.com. Use special discount code Quattro for some special discount. I told them I'm not gonna eat the whole pizza, so they threw away the other half that I didn't eat, even though I wanna bring it with me, so they made another pizza, so I still had something to bring with me. Long story short, free pizza! For who? Oh, I found the perfect crew. At this point, subs started to go a little slower. I was not getting too tired yet. I was not giving up, you know, I was not giving up. And this was not even the hard part. Not even on the half of the stream, I checked my backpack and I said, guys, we need to go home. And I, oh, I need to charge my stream backpack. I don't stream from my phone, I stream from a IRL backpack with a computer, router, fans and everything. I was going home. This is where it's gonna get hard. I was and at home and already like for eight hours. What the f am I gonna do home? I'm getting tired. Oi! Look at the poster. Look at me. You see, I got the fake piercing already. We did the street art, we did the confetti. So now it's time for the colored hair and after that confetti again, sunrise yoga. Sunrise will be in less than three hours. Let's start. This is just absolute, this is yellow. <laughs> 
It looks like what the f If I didn't have the hair coloring challenge, I would have failed. That shit kept me away. I'm happy that I stayed positive through this whole shit. I'm so happy I didn't let myself be discouraged by the sub stagnating or the plans changing, my power bank dying, stores closing. No, I kept going and I'm proud of that. The only thing I had to focus on was the next sub challenge, sunrise yoga. I was looking forward to that sunrise because it also meant I was getting closer to the end. Okay, so the sunrise was there, disappointing sunrise. I thought it was gonna be all shiny, egg yolk type beat, but it wasn't. And guess what? We didn't reach the yoga sunrise goal yet. I was about to sell my kidneys for this shit. Something that we streamers don't talk about enough is what is the strategy to get subs? How do you get people to sub? You gotta ask, you gotta trigger them, you gotta remind people like, hey, don't forget to subscribe. But you also need to provide something for it. You cannot just get subs for nothing. And with these moments where I had to get, I think we had to go like 18 subs till we reached that sunrise yoga, I needed to perform now. Oh God, I was happy when I reached that goal. Best yoga session ever. Please tell me guys, can I finally do the yoga? We need two more subs. What the hell? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Holy shit, holy shit. So th that yoga, that was a difficult part. I felt like the rest of that 12 hours, I still had to go or coming anyway. So what the fuck was I gonna do in that time? Yeah. I just NPC'd home, woke up Daniel, prepared for the day. King's Day is known for selling your old stuff for very cheap, drinking, partying, festivals. Daniel really likes to buy stuff, okay? Daniel's a collector. My husband is a collector. So I took advantage of that, you know, like, oh, we can just look at stuff and I can just exist here. That was my mistake. Being a streamer is not just looking at stuff and existing. There needs to be personality. There needs to be me having fun, enjoying it, talking about it, engaging with it. And that was difficult those last eight hours of the stream. After being uh, awake for, for that long, some feelings disappear they don't exist daniel just wanted to look at stuff i was sleep deprived this was not a good duo <laughs> but hey someone that did give me some energy was prime pong shout out prime pong he was doing beer pong on light square i stayed there for way too long i stayed too long at the beer pong even though it was fun i should have just done something with my stream i should have checked parties out but at this point, the subs were stagnating. I was stagnating for at least chat was there. Chat was having fun, but I was done. I was done. I was already texting my dad, please be ready to pick me up. What a final, man. What a final. After 24 hours, I was so proud. I was so happy. I felt so fulfilled, even though I didn't reach all the challenges. That's not what mattered at that moment. What mattered is that the 24 hours we're done. I'm gonna go nap, I'm gonna go sleep, I'm gonna go down tonight. I just wanna cry, like, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of just how far we've come and we're really like, you know, like getting there. And, and I don't care about like how much viewers I have, whatever. Uh, obviously I do care, but I just don't know at this point what to believe, you know. But, all the people if you're there if you have a heart are you okay you good damn but people thank you thank you thank you you guys keep on being great Guys, what the hell? 
We're gonna go. Take good care of yourself. I'll take good care of myself too. And see you soon. See you soon, guys. Big love. Cuatro K. I'm out after 24 hours of non-stop life. Do I have any tips for streamers that wanna do a 24 hour stream? Plan it as soon as possible. The moment you want to do it, plan it. Think about everything. I know it maybe sounds like a lot, but you literally can't prepare enough. Make sure you have some nice snacks with you that are healthy, but also effective. You know, with some sugar, some salt, carbs, protein. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm a nutritionist. I'm a survivalist. I would have never done all of this, all the challenges for you, all the crazy shit, all the experiences. I would have never done it if you weren't there. I am so grateful for that. I have the best job in the world. I get to push my limits, go over them, gain as much knowledge, experience, and memories as possible. Keep enjoying, keep shining, and keep on being you. Drop a like. Drop a subscription, drop a comment even, how fun! I wanna see you, you got fucking potential, you got health potential, you can do it all, okay? The world is waiting for you. Thank you everyone that was part of this 24 hours. Thank you my parents. I'm thankful, I'm proud. I'll see you next time. What's it, friend?